Hello and welcome back. It's the final day of the Tour Championship in the FedEx Cup as South Knox's Adam Shank looked to pick up his first PGA Tour victory in dramatic fashion. Shank entered Sunday tied for eighth and was paired with defending Tour Champion and FedEx Cup winner Rory McIlroy. Adam came out ready to play and really got after the Tour Championship in the FedEx Cup here as he gets a birdie on the first hole of the afternoon and moves to 10 under par. Over to the third hole, and this may be the shot of the tournament for Shank, and maybe just the shot of the tournament in general. From 140 yards out, are you kidding me? It rolls into the cup for an eagle, and Shank moves into the top five. Shank's not done there to hole four now. It's another long birdie putt for the former Boilermaker, and he drills it to move four under for the day. 13 under for the tournament and into fourth place at the time. After a two hour weather delay, Shank picks up right where he left off on the sixth hole, making his third birdie putt of the day and moving to a solo third place at 14 under par. Over to the back nine, hole 13, Shank needing to recapture some of that front nine magic to stay in the top five. He does exactly that with this birdie putt to move back to 13 under and stays in a tie for third. 15 after a double bogey at 14, Shank trying to make ground with another long birdie putt to keep pace with the pack and he sinks it as he heads to the final three holes. Second shot here on 16, Shank trying to recreate his shot on three from earlier in the day as he smokes the flag stick from 143 yards out, setting up for this long birdie putt opportunity. Ensuing putt, we've seen him drill these long putts all day. It has the speed, but it refuses to break at the cup. Shank will settle for par and remains in a tie for fifth at 12 under. Shank would go on to double bogey 17 and then finish it with a par on 18, finishing the tournament 10 under par and in a tie for ninth place in its first appearance at the Tour Championship. 